Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The smuggling of arms, ammunition, bombs, drugs and other supplies have become a very frequent affair across LOC. The number of such incidents have seen a steep rise in recent times. In past one year, close to three dozen drone consignments have been recovered from various parts of Indo-Pakistan border. Back in October last year, huge cache of arms including 22 pistols, 44 magazines and 100 cartridges of 7.63mm caliber was recovered from Punjab close to Indo-Pak border. Apart from arms, one kg of heroin and a packet of opium was also recovered. The drones are becoming the new face of terror and a tool used by Pakistan to continue its supply to terrorists as Indian Army is hitting hard on infiltration bits across LOC. Even Naxals have started using drones. Therefore, the need of hard and soft kill measures for drones have not only become necessity for our armed forces but also for the police operating in the border areas. As you all might be aware that Defence Expo 2022 is going to be held between 10 to 14 March 2022 in Gujarat. Smart Shooter will be showcasing its Smash family of fire control system during the event. Indian Navy was the first user of this anti-drone system. Navy has already awarded the contract for supply of Smart Shooter fire control system which will be used to counter rogue drones. The contract entails the supply of Smart Shooter's Smash 2000 Plus fire control systems which will be installed mainly on AK-47 and AK-103 series rifles. It has also been reported that Punjab Police has also been using a Smart fire control system. Recently, BSF and Army has also started hunting for anti-drone gun for which Smart Shooter is the lead contender. While Israeli defense firm Smart Shooter currently does all research, marketing and production from its facility in Israel, it is looking at the possibility of making system in other locations and India is one of the prime options. It has tied up with an Indian company Devsys Solutions for future contracts. The firm is looking to set up a manufacturing plant in India eyeing more contracts besides the one it has already bagged from Indian Navy and Punjab Police. If we talk about Smash 2000 Plus system, it's basically a site with inbuilt intelligence which greatly enhances the situational awareness and accuracy. To be precise, the system can improve the accuracy by almost four times compared to a red dot optics. The company says the system ensures each round finds its target in both day and night condition as well as keeping friendly forces safe. With the help of this soldier can fire with both eyes opened. The system features a built-in targeting algorithm that can track and hit multiple targets at first shot, including drones. And to do this, you don't need a fancy weapon, but a simple AK-47 can be converted into an anti-drone gun. The system uses technologies to convert an assault rifle into smart weapons using new age fire control system. The Smash 2000 Plus can be operated in various modes. It can be used as a simple red dot mode for accurate rapid fire, day mode fire control assisted shots using see-through projected markers, night mode fire control assisted shots using low light video display, drone kill mode which locks, tracks and kills the drones. The system is capable of neutralizing the high-speed small drones flying at an altitude of 120 meter in a single shot. It is powered by a rechargeable battery that can last up to 72 hours or 3600 smash assisted shots. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.